the last time we've read that word Cataluma happens to be in the infancy narrative. There was no room for them in the in the inn. Now when we hear that, I think a lot of people imagine it's like Hotel Bethlehem. <laughs> Mary and Joseph got to the hotel and yeah, we have reservations under Joseph, you know. They didn't have hotels in Bethlehem in Jesus' day, most likely. Right? When it talks about actually a different word is used for a kind of inn like that in Luke's Gospel. In the story of the Good Samaritan, when the, the Good Samaritan pays for the guy at the inn, that's a different word in Greek than what's used in the Christmas story. What's actually, the idea is, they didn't have room for Jesus in the guest room. So Joseph goes to be with his family, and when he gets to his family's house, they don't have room for him where they live, and so they end up putting him up on sort of the outside of the house, which is where they would put the animals in the manger, right? It's not like a barn, I know we typically think about it. Actually, in Jerusalem, or in Bethlehem, the traditional site of Jesus' birth is actually a cave in Bethlehem, right? And the dwelling would have been inside the cave and there would have been no room inside the cave, inside that shelter, and so they would have stayed in this like, manger. That, anyway, this is it all makes sense in a first century context. Hi, I'm Michael Barber. I hope you enjoyed the clip you just saw. If you're interested in seeing the entire talk for Unto Us, A Child is Born, Preparing for Christmas with the Bible, I think that's the name we gave to it, uh, you can click on the link below and uh, watch the entire thing. Thanks for watching.